hello uh, view, uh, viewers and subscribers welcome uh, once again my new screencast this the screencast will be the continuation of my previous screencast uh, because a uh, lot of uh, subscriber and viewer asking me about after about the about the rest uh, endpoint implementation and integration and deployment the the service into the into the client machines and how the those uh, uh, REST APIs integration between the uh, MO or I, I not said between among the different uh, font and technologies or font and development technologies like Java based font and technologies or Groovy based font and technologies or template engines or or any other other JavaScript based frameworks. Uh, Font and development frameworks, even though in the in the mobile or smart device platform frameworks, that means when when you have a all the microservice or REST services is getting ready, and then there's now you have to be think about which technology stack you need to be integrate or you need to be develop your your font and technologies. But it depend on the the your your company requirements or specification or you and even though depending on your or available resources. Uh, let's say resources means in respect to how many how many Java developer you have and how many Groovy developer or how many how many JavaScript JavaScript based developer and then even though the how many developer you have in the middle layer the or your api development or even though in the in the sql the level developments it's this completely depend on but the idea today i try to give it to you the how the how any one enterprise application work with the different level of developments or how how the the thinking model works together that means if you have like like you have a microservices like different microservices for the your your documents microservices or your reporting microservices or your payment microservices or your administrative microservices or this is the microservices if you have a microservices then you need to be decide which which font and technology you need to be you need to, to be integrate your your font and your UI or your UI GUI development. That's the idea to give it to you a really clear idea how how the enterprise level uh, works. And then from for my last almost twelve years experience, I try to give it to you or to to share with you how we we did it as a professional life as a, as a, as a day to day life the how we think how we architecture it how we model it how we integrate it and how we deploy it this one so if you see the the my screencast like 35 number and um, screencast number 35 there was a screencast number uh, 30 35.1 up to 30.45 still i am continuing if you saw this is the application was the the angular based angular font and based you have the one of the screencast you have a all the forms and you have the the geo some geo functionalities that means this is the this is the just simply really really mock-up forms nothing to do with the functionalities at the moment just like i build the mock-ups and the now i am now uh, what i'm trying to do today and how the, the these services will be built with the technology stack was the possibility as the complexity for building this in if you saw the this form we have a save edit and delete and we have a save button and the set button and cancel button that means you somehow you need to define your endpoints your rest apis and you just call the apis and do the crude operations basically the at the moment the crude operations and somehow we have to define your uh, geo services then you can store your you can build your your polygons lines or points geometry and you can edit it from here you can digitize it and store this information to the respective field and store this information into the database that means this is the form you need at least the uh, the crude operations you need to create update delete operations to to build these services and integrate the services with the angular gui this is one of the example i started based on the angular type angular and typescript based gui development that means in the backend server in the in the your api is still the same but depending which technology which uh, which technology stack you are you try to do or we you have a requirements or specification from the client side or your company decisions that depend that's why i'm trying to give it to you 
Uh, if you have a really harmonized your standard REST APIs or oh, and the microservices, then it's depending where you try to do. That's why I try to give it to here. So this is the one of the example how the Angular based um, technology uh, build your UI and and I try to build uh, all the REST endpoints or REST services and integrate the REST services into the this this GUI. This one example. Just close look that uh, my my screencast now I'm on the 35.1 up to the 45 still continuing this uh, GUI development but the the initial mock-up GUI is there that the functionality is there navigator bar is there the translation is there you can close look that one so here you see that the the second screen example that I started the 36 uh, already started there is a 36.1.35 there is a discussion which technology when I try to start the development the uh, rest endpoints that depending the the technology stack and that's right today here that's normally I try to give it to you how the JPA and how the Spring Data JPA works and how the Hibernate, Hibernate Spring, Hibernate Spatial works and then based on those technologies or tools or concept you build your REST endpoints that's the idea to 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 for for this you know, those screencast the next screencast i already started the developments i will show you later how the the project started how the project structure look like as a professional way and then and continuing the further development with the next screencast just follow the the this the, the this is the theoretical part that's why the lot of viewers and and subscriber ask me give it to them because because lot of the pressure or beginner developer they need a, a really some theoretical information or practical information how the technology stack is is integrated together how what's the possibilities to come up with the with with one one core system to the different different kinds client systems i mean if you have a core core functionalities like all your and the, the api implementation is there and then you have a different fun client for different functionalities and depending different client has a different technology stack acceptation like there's some kind of client says we need simply javascript based framework we development some client says no we need a java based frameworks uh, java based template engines or, or frameworks to build our guis on so someone says no we need a like asp based frameworks for for building our gui someone says no we are completely in the GUI, groovy and then groovy based framework and technology technology inches that's why the api part the development of your api is a really important part to 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 give it to the possibilities as a front-end developer they can have stores all the possibilities java spring it's a javascript or, or any mobile based platform doesn't matter which which font and technology they use they are calling you rest as apis and build the web pages very simple it's because you you put it all the business logic into the your api just they call it your service build the, your mockups and build the web pages that's the that's the idea of the uh, how the microservice works how the, how we break the monolithic application to the microservice based applications i have a really two really in, most important two videos in the in, the, in, in it's, it's I, I think so it's number 10 or 13 there's a detailed discussion what's the difference between the uh, monolithic application to the microservice application and how we come up from monolithic to microservice and how you define the the, the microservice approach or design pattern to 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 the to the your your applications that means if you go one example if you go to the like Amazon or eBay or, or PayPal web pages one page has maybe 10 or 15 web services called or I mean the service called to build on the single pages that's that's the microservice world how the microservice work that means you have a really independent or really modularized microservices you 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 you, you put it in the clouds or you put it in different different service installation machines and just call the services what you need uh, what you the requirement from the from the client side that's that's the idea the microservice come just follow the, the my the previous screencast about the the difference between the monolithic application microservice application based applications and then how can you uh, design it or build this pattern that the microservice application and then integrate the microservices into the your font and technology i mean the big technology just follow the the previous screencast
So here is one of the examples because uh, that's that's I said there is a lot of many at the moment.